Hello my friends, Bersky here. Here is an updated tutorial guide uh, that goes over a few things my older tutorial didn't go over. Number one, if you press your menu button, um, see those three lines on my on my quest, uh, on my left controller, the three lines, that is your menu button. If you press that in other games, it can be a pause button. If you press that in a Roblox VR experience, it gets rid of your chat, uh, the chat window, the dashboard, and the flat screen windows. There we go. Oh, I guess it hides the dashboard, but it keeps it out of view and lowers it. Very handy. Number two, if you want to get rid of tunnel vision, what's tunnel vision, you might ask? That's tunnel vision. Um, if this isn't showing in my video, I am going to add an, ex an additional, whatchamacallit. <laughs> I'm going to add the effect of tunnel vision. So when you're moving, there is a black circle that appears around your vin vision. To get rid of it, press the three horizontal lines on your Rolex VR dashboard. Click settings, click VR Vignette. Enabled, turn that off. That takes care of it. Mm -hmm. If you still don't know, you can right click or you can click on the right thumbstick to go from third person to first person when you're not in a true VR experience. If you are experiencing lag, or things are looking dark or ugly, make sure you, you turn off auto quality mode and find the correct setting. A really nice setting for most games will be eight. If it if things are lagging or glitching out, lower it down. And you need to find each game will have its own preferred setting, but make sure you turn off auto quality mode. That causes insane lag and no, it's just awful. Hope you guys enjoy this little updated guide, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.